This is going to be our video on how to set up a Synology NAS DS414. As you can see, this is a new one out of the box. So Synology on the side. In the back we have two fans, two network ports, power port, and two USB 3.0 ports. Turn it back around to the front. Up front we have a status light. It tells you the status of all the discs. And also a front USB port that looks to be USB 2.0. Take off the front cover. You can just pull it right off. It's got little rubber nibs so it just kind of just fits in there. And then we need to install the drives. So push this in. Well actually I'll let my assistant take over here. Can you show us how that works? Okay, let's move this over here. And can you show us how to install the drive? So you pull off the plastic pieces on each side. You take a drive, NAS rated, so it's usually it's a slower RPM, so it doesn't generate as much heat. Make sure the ports, the SATA ports are on the back, point towards the back. Put the drive in. Then you put the little plastic pieces back into the side and they have little pins on them so they go right into the screw spots that you normally screw a drive in. Now if you have smaller two and a half inch drives you can use the included screws that comes with a bag of screws and you put the drive in and then it would screw into the bottom holes here to fit us a, a smaller two and a half inch drive would fit into these these four screw holes once you have the drive mounted in there for a three and a half inch then you stick it back into the Synology NAS there we go and our next step will be to power it up and show you how to configure it so you install all the drives you have and in this instance we have four drives that we're doing once the drives are installed, you can put the cover back on. Just kind of fits in there. And then next thing we need to do is hook up network. So I'm going to turn it around and go to the network ports. And they are labeled LAN 1, LAN 2. So we will plug the network red cable network cable into LAN 1. It really doesn't matter, you can configure them inside the Synology software. So plug that into the port on the left. Okay, And then let's plug in the power cable, which plugs in right underneath that. And it only goes one way, just turn it until it fits in there. Okay, which is the flat side over here goes towards the right and then we need to plug the power cable into the power brick so you plug this end into the power brick and then we plug the other end into the wall to give it some power Plug it in right over there, Addison. Put the cord probably around the other way so you have enough room. Okay, and then now we will turn it on. Push the power button on the front of the Synology. Let go. Just push it once. Got the blue light flashing. And then you will also want to check the back just to make sure that your network connection is live you'll get some flashing lights there on your network port in the back see it Addison see. Okay. see this is so easy to set up an eight-year-old can do it okay we need to just wait for it to boot up 
Yeah, this is the second one I've set up, and I don't remember how long it took the first time. There we go. Now we got the disc lights all lit up there. It's still booting up. We have status light flashing orange. And now the blue light is not flashing anymore. Okay, when the status light is flashing orange, then it's time to go to your computer. Okay, what you want to do is go to find.synology.com. That will then search your local network for any new Synologies that are there. There, it found one. It's a DS414, and that's the one that we've set up. Let's go to connect. And then we can go set up. So if there's a new update, or the actually the um, disk station manager, it will install that onto the hard drives and erase the existing hard drive, which is fine. They're all blank hard drives. And just let this run. Okay, then we go next, and this is where you can name it. Now this is where you give all the information that you want about it. 